Now I've got this uh, security camera attached to the side of my house and it's actually an IP camera, a network camera, so it, um, it's on the wireless network. It's um, got uh, wireless built in but there are two cables going in and those are 5 volts for the camera power and 12 volts for the heater fan unit. Now this thing's getting a bit old and manky these days, so I thought I'd just clean it up and open it up. The camera seems to have gone a little bit out of focus, so I need to just tweak the lens there. But it also occurred to me that the two power supplies, which are fed through the corner of this window here, are coming from two mains power blocks inside the house. And it occurred to me that because just down here I've got this enormous bank of 12 volt batteries, 12 volts could come from here to run the heater fan unit and 5 volts could be derived from that 12 volts to drive the camera so I'd only need one cable going in and it could all be wired externally I wouldn't need these wires coming through the window there and it would all be solar powered so let's have a look inside see if it's uh, feasible now inside the unit there's the camera itself uh, there's a piece of glass at the front, there's the camera, it's got a LAN port which isn't being used and that's the wireless antenna, I took the cover off so that I could get the top of the camera case down over it. Um, 5 volts is on that cable there going to this board. Now there are two thermal sensors on there, one for hot and one for cold and if I short them out fan starts up, if I short that one out, if I short that one out, the fan runs a bit quicker, so that's probably for cooling, and that one's probably for um, warming, and it produces warmth on that um, high power resistor there. But the fan and the resistor are driven from 12 volts, the camera is driven from 5 volts which is coming off this terminal block. You can see the two wires coming up into the terminal block there. So let's bring this thing down and do some modifications. So the first thing to do is to unplug the 5, which is this one, and the 12 volt power blocks. And to be quite honest, this is just a mess. And um, getting rid of some of these uh, power supplies, which are always a bit dodgy to uh, leave on permanently, will be a good thing. So let's... Uh, Unplug these. That's the 12 volt. And there's the 5 volt. And uh, that looks better already. So here's the board from inside the uh, camera module. And just looking at those um, thermal sensors again, the one on the left says 37 degrees, so I imagine it turns on when the temperature inside the unit gets over 37. And the other one says 8 degrees, so that almost certainly turns on when it gets below 8 so that'll be for turning the heater on in winter so um, now I need to mount my regulator module and um, I've used this basic uh, switch mode regulator module which I'm going to set to 5 volts it's sitting on a 12 volt battery and it's probably hard to see almost impossible to see perhaps but I've set it to just over 5 volts, it's reading 5.13 so uh, I'll now attempt to fit that into the uh, module. So there's the voltage regulator mounted on the back of the board. Um, it seems quite close to the heating resistor but um, that's only going to kick in when it's below 8 degrees so it's going to be pretty cold, it won't mind a bit of heat uh, shoved at it. And um, I've put the other end of the 12 volt wires onto this 12 volt battery and here I've got the 5 volt output which is going to go to the camera and we're reading 5.15 so let's plug the camera in and see if that lights up so I've plugged the module back into the camera and the camera it's hard to see but yeah we can see blue and orange lights on there so that seems to be working so the next thing is to um, see if uh, this thing can communicate with the router and uh, type in the IP address and see if we can get an image. And I have to focus the lens because that had gone out as well. 
Right, so uh, that's the image coming from the camera here. And uh, I'll just refresh that. Okay, so it's a little out of focus. Hard to see on here because there's a lot of reflection. But I'm just going to adjust the uh, focus on the camera to get that in. So I need to lift the lid and then just turn the focus wheel at the front of the camera there. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so I've adjusted the focus. It looks pretty good. On the screen there, we're getting a reasonably sharp image. Let's just uh, refresh that. Oops. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera back um, up on its perch up there and uh, see what we get. I'm just going to stick my finger down in this hole to try and feel how hot that regulator is. And it's warm, but it's not what I'd call alarmingly hot. So I think that regulator will survive being inside this unit. So the camera's back on its mount and I've just jury rigged the cable onto these two points on the uh, battery stack here. So let's see what the image is coming from the camera. So that's back in its original position. There I am. Let's just refresh the image. And there we are. Camera now running off solar power.